Welcome to our lecture online. Now here's one more example when we're dealing with rates, in this case, relative rates. So let's read the problem. A boat can travel seven kilometers upstream in the same time that it can travel 11 kilometers downstream. What is the rate of the current if the boat can travel 18 kilometers per hour in still water? All right, let's see here. The time is the same going upstream as downstream. So let's write that as an equation. So the time upstream equals the time downstream. And of course, we have the equation where we have distance is equal to rate times time. So if we solve this equation for time, we get time is equal to distance divided by the rate. So here that means that the distance upstream divided by the rate upstream is equal to the distance downstream divided by the rate downstream. Now, how do we define the rate up and downstream? Well, let's say that R of sub R is equal to the rate of the river, which means that the rate upstream is equal to the rate of the boat minus the rate of the river and whoop, rate. So in this case, the rate uh, of the boat would be 18 kilometers per hour, so the 18 minus the rate of the river. And in the same way, we can say that the rate downstream is equal to the rate of the boat plus the rate of the river, which in this case would be 18 plus the rate of the river. Oh, wow. This one should R, and so that would be R downstream. Okay, let's go ahead and plug those two in there as well as the distance up and the distance down. The distance upstream was going to be 7 divided by the rate upstream, which is 18 minus, we'll just call it R for R for the river, which is equal to D downstream, that would be 11 for the distance downstream, and the rate would be 18 plus R. Now in this case, so we're just going to call it uh, rate of the river, let's go R, that just makes it easier and that would be rate of the boat, and rate of the boat plus the rate of the river. Let's get rid of all the sub-bars. It's just cleaner that way. That way you don't have to worry about the sub-bars everywhere. And we just call it the rate of the boat instead of just the rate. Okay, so now we have a cleaner equation. To solve that, we're going to cross multiply. So this can be written as 7 times 18 plus r is equal to 11 times 18 minus r. And we multiply this through, that's uh, 56 plus 70, that's 126, plus 7r is equal to 11 times 18, that would be uh, 180, that would be 198, minus 11r. Moving all the r's to one side, we get 7r plus 11r equals 198 minus 126. 7 plus 11, that's 18r, is equal to... Uh, that would be, let's see here, that would be 74 minus 2, that would be 72. And let's finish over here. We have 18R equals 72, divide both sides by 18. And we get R is equal to 4, and that would be kilometers per hour. And remember, we defined R as being the rate of the river. And so the river is flowing at 4 kilometers per hour, and that's how it's done.